all the things that we, Mike, you've invested in some deals that didn't pan out. Stu, you've invested in some things that didn't pan out and we still see benefit lessons from it. But I want to ask, what's the dumbest thing you've ever done with your money that you wish you didn't do? That Escalade? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Tell, tell the story, man. Oh, man. So, um, right, this is like right when um, my dad had passed away. He passed in uh, 2010. Um, he left a, you know, a little lump sum of money for, uh, my brothers and I, and I, my car that I had all through college just broke down. I had no wheels. <laughs> shout out um, to the 300, man. Yeah, shout out to Uncle Billy, Christ, man. man. Uncle Billy, man. He, he left me that way when he passed away in 05. So that, that, that held me down in college, but that after college, it was a wrap. Um, so I needed a whip and, you know, I had, a, I had enough for, uh, like a, a decent car. And I should have just went with a decent car. But what I did was I'm young and stupid. And I'm like, all right, I want the big Escalade, right? So I go, I try to get the homeboy deal and ended up not paying it out, right? So what happened was, um, you know, I gave a friend of mine, well, a, a so-called friend, uh, some money because he said he knew somebody that had like a, like a dealership or whatever. Um, and he knew I was looking for a car. Ended up giving him a little bit of money um, to get the car. The car got shipped to me, so I had the car, and it wasn't even escalated. It was it was something temporary until the car that I wanted he got in his possession. So the car that I got was it sounds uh, shaky uh, already. This is a lot yeah, of moving parts. It's terrifying. Very, very, very shaky. <laughs> The car that I got was a Lexus Lexus LS four fifty, the big body joint. Four and a um, half. It was it was it was nice. A four and a half. They stopped making them joints. Um, it was a very <laughs> nice old. car. When they stopped making but, cars, you're old. <laughs> right. It was a good car. Um, it was the LS four the LS four fifty, and then um, I think after like a month, a month and a half. Um, I get a call saying that this car was reported stolen, yada, yada, yada. So I actually get pulled over by the police and the police, um, mm. uh, stopped me and like asked for the title. I gave it, gave them the registration title, all that stuff. They were like, yeah, this title's fake. Terrifying. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, my man has sold me a fake, fake whip. So I, I called my friend first and he's like, yo, I just got, got two. Like he, you know, he bought a car. So I'm like, I'm looking at him like, Bro, you 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 scamming, you scamming. You know, you, you know what I'm saying. Somebody, yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody. Yeah, let's keep it clean for the kids. Um, yeah. And then you know, I'm calling the dude that sold me the car. He's not answering the call, the calls and all that stuff. So long story short, luckily I got some fam in the streets down there where it happened in Atlanta, <laughs> uh, and I was able to catch up with him and get my money back at the end of the day. So, um, but yeah, that that was stupid. I mean, like, I got my money back. But it wasn't all of it. I had to, I had to, I had to break my, you know, my family off a little bit for helping me find mm-hmm. dude. But it kind of got real ugly. And this is, this all could have been prevented if I just was patient and mm-hmm. you know worked towards getting the car I wanted, as opposed to like using that money that my dad gave me as his, as that should be that should have been a tool to mm-hmm. fund my business or whatever the case. I wanted to look cool. It ended up not working out, um, and then I bought an Acura. So I got yeah. the car that I was supposed to get it ultimately. So that was probably but the then, stupidest thing I done with money. 